for the first fight of the second portion of tonight's event. It is an MMA fight in the lightweight division. Let's send it up to Rutas Kuzmenka for the official announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Riga Arena, Latvia, KOK World Series 2019, live on KOKFights.tv. It's time for MMA Bushido's Super Fight. Blue Corner, fight representing Lithuania, Oswald Fedorovic. This is a great fight to kick off. The KOK World Series 2019 in Riga. That's what we're calling the second portion of tonight's event. Oswald Fedorovic of Lithuania. We've seen him on several occasions before in the past. All three of his fights have happened here in MMA Bushido. He is one and two overall. And he's also fought under kickboxing rules in KOK. So very experienced. Youngster, he's still just 21 years old, still developing as a fighter, still getting better every time he steps into the ring. Represents Ring's gym, and he says uh, before the fight that he wants to prove that he can do it all, that he can be a strong fighter not only under MMA rules, like this fight will be under, but also as a kickboxer as well. Lithuania. Red corner fight representing Latvia. Silvestr Kanebs. Defeated Sylvest Kaneps of Latvia making his way to the MMA Bushido ring right now. And that's not to be overlooked. The fact that this MMA fight gonna happen inside of a ring, which can dramatically change the outcome of this fight. Kaneps undefeated in his career and has had a fight in MMA Bushido before. It was a victory. Obviously, it happened back in October of 2018, just over one year ago. Has a great background, a very strong and varied background. Grappling is his, I would say, is his strong point. Jiu-Jitsu, pancreation, wrestling, there's a lot of great grappling skills at his disposal. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, 21 years old, official height 180 centimeter, official weight 70 kilogram, his professional record, one win, one bike knockout, two losses, winner of KOK World Series Super Fights, representing Ring Gym, Lithuania, Oswald Fedorovic. Fighting out of the red corner, 22 years old, official height 176 centimeter, official weight 70 kilogram. His professional record: two wins, one by knockout, no losses. Latvian junior grappling champion, silver Baltic champion grappling, Latvian MMA champion, world park racing champion, representing Professional Riga and Budo Boxing Club, Latvia, Silvia. Albert Kuksenok, MMA Bushido rules, three rounds, five minutes each. <laughs> MMA rules, folks, in this one, three rounds of five minutes, as is standard. 
in MMA, but what is not standard or, or generally taken up is, is the fact that this is happening inside of a ring. I cannot stress that enough. At the last event in Vilnius, just one week ago, we saw the ring come into play. Where, oh, nice take down there. See if he can complete it. He grabbed the leg, trying to run through him here. And there you see the ring coming into play. He tried to reach forward with his right hand and reached out and grabbed the rope. But last week in, in Vilnius, the ring played a huge part because the man who was being submitted felt that he was under the bottom rope and that the referee should pull the action back out to the center. The fight was not stopped and he ended up having to tap out to the rear naked choke. It's almost like deja vu all over again here as these two very close to that bottom rope, like the way he pushed the head down right there. He's going to give himself some room to throw some strikes there. Knee was, I believe, partially blocked by the right elbow of Fedorovic. Wrapping his legs. Ooh, short little right hand there. May help him to rethink his strategy. Moves in the full mount there. As you can see, Fedorovic was trying to use the push off the bottom rope to get himself some breathing room. And instead, he gave his opponent an opportunity to get in the full mount here. Look at him stretching him way out here now, wailing away with the right hand. Fedorovic trying to turn out of this situation. Very nicely done. A beautiful sweep that time by Osvald Fedorovic. Where does he go from here? Left arm locked tightly around. Ooh, there looked like it was a clash of heads there on the ground. He's rubbing the forehead in the face of his opponent. That makes life just a little bit more miserable down there on the bottom. Trying to sneak the left arm inside here and does. That'll eliminate the striking with the right arm, but not from the left. Posturing up now. Goes back to his original game plan here. And a, has some breathing room, and now he reverses the position. Back and forth matchup here. Inside two minutes now in this opening round. This fight at 71 kilograms. And we, you know, there is a lightweight champion in MMA, uh, Bushido. And in fact, at the last event in Vilnius, we established an interim lightweight champion as well. So a very competitive division here in MMA Bushido at 71 kilos. The winner of this contest, he's looking for that triangle choke, but couldn't quite get it. The winner of this contest looking to move up the rankings and perhaps get themselves in position for a title fight sometime down the line. Action taking place there right in front of the president of the International Bushido Federation, Donatus Simonitis, and the president of KOK Global. See some blood on the forehead of Fedorovic. I, I'm guessing that is coming from his opponent dripping down on top of him there. He uses the legs to free himself. Going right after the leg now. Oh my! What a slick move that was. See how quickly he wrapped up that leg, but he could not complete the submission. Closing seconds now of this opening round. 
short little left hands going into the jaw of the Lithuanian. And that'll do it for round one. There's our ring lady, Violetta Kolunova, bodybuilding champion from here in Latvia. As we go and take a look at highlights from that opening round between these two. Back and forth. Really, it was. Just when you thought one guy made a, a beautiful move, the other guy would pull out almost the same exact thing. One guy had a takedown, then the other one had a takedown. One had a sweep, then the other had a sweep. Fighters. Second round. Very quick touch of gloves, and we are underway immediately here in round number two. The opening fight of the second portion of tonight's show, the KOK Fight Series from Riga. This is the second half of tonight's show, the World Series. Oswald Fedorovich on the bottom there from Lithuania, one year younger than his Latvian opponent. At 21, he's also at a four centimeter height advantage at 180 centimeters. Said that he's studying physiotherapy right now at university, which I find interesting. It always helps to know a lot about the human anatomy, especially when you're trying to bend parts of the anatomy and break them and submit your opponent. And I'm trying to get that right knee into position. I think he's trying to get the same thing done that he did in the first round, or eventually he wants to get into full mount and then look for that ground and pound. Nice right hand that time. It's in half guard now. Man, that is a good, solid right hand. There's a couple of those that have landed now. And Fedorovic felt it. There's another one around the corner. Fedorovic trying to keep his left arm overhooked to prevent the striking, because that's the right hand, that is the power hand, so now he switches up and goes to the left. Posturing up now, looking for that right hand again. Right hand into the body, you can hear that. Thud, that thumping sound whenever he strikes the body right there. That's a very dangerous part of the body of the strike. There's no meat in that area. You're just hitting bone, you're hitting the side of the rib cage, and you can feel the reverberations all throughout your body when you strike that area. Oh, the solid right hand that time cracks the jaw of Fedorovich. The best shot of the fight so far. He's trying to pin down the right arm. That's going to open up some serious striking opportunities if he's available. If that's uh, if he's able to take advantage of that. Trying to clamp down on the head now of Kaneps. As we approach about a minute 30 left in round number two. Boy, I would say that Ken Epps is, he's been on top here in a great position for the whole entire round. And so unless Fedorovich comes up with something here in the last 
minute or so, then this round absolutely belongs to Kanebs. And I like the fact that the referee is not standing this action up. A lot of referees will get impatient in there, especially in a, a, a an organization which is primarily a kickboxing organization. It's good to see that the referee acknowledges the fact that these two are staying busy, and though it is primarily on the ground, that Kanepsis is doing enough work to keep it, this thing grounded and stay in a dominant position and just keep working hard and landing those shots one by one, two by two. I believe he's still looking to obtain the full mount here. He has not been able to do it yet, but I believe that is his ultimate goal. Unless he's content just to stay here and inside and just land those rights and lefts. Whoa, wait a minute now. Tempers flaring. At the end of that second round, he let him have an extra shot, I believe. Well, regardless, a very dominant round there for Sylvester Kanep. Good show of sportsmanship, and that's nice to see, considering... Oh, wow! What happened at the end of round number two, and then again, after a couple of good shots, Kenneps wraps him up and takes this fight right back down to the canvas. I think that uh, Fedorovich really wanted to make a statement there with his striking and in fact i think he got a little bit too flashy and he got caught in a takedown because of that he cannot afford to spend the entire duration of another round on his back like this it, it was is a grueling round number two it was, it was a very slow pace but it takes a lot of energy to be able to have a round like that and now Fedorovich maneuvering himself under the bottom rope, and I don't think he, he got exactly what he was looking for. I, I think he was expecting to get a stand-up, uh, or at least get the fight pulled out to center ring, and that's not what he got. So you can forget about that strategy. Go to plan B. And so we are back now where we were for 90% of round number two, and that is Kenneps in the half guard. Hello! Oh boy! Well, that, that's plan B for you right there. Just twist his ankle off. Oh, but Kenneps now! Kenneps has control of the ankle! And look at these two. It's like playing Twister with flypaper. Good right hands going in by the Lithuanian. Well, now we'll see what Fedorovic can do because the, the, it's the exact opposite now where he is on top and in basically the same position where Kaneps was and we'll see if he can be more successful from here. Trying to smother his opponent now. Kaneps gets the left arm inside and is looking... No. Maybe. Got a little separation now with his knees. Putting the left foot on the hip area and lifts him right up but cannot get Fedorovich off. 
But you can see that when he has his arms behind the back of the head like that, it's severely limiting any kind of striking opportunities that Fedorovich can have. Right hands again going into that exposed rib cage area, puts the right arm underneath the knee, but cannot get anything out of it yet. Tries to scoot onto his right hip now. Fedorovich posturing up, trying to drop a bomb in there. He needs this round. Fedorovich absolutely must win this round if he has any hopes of taking the fight home. Look at this now. Trying to get that left uh, ankle underneath the right knee to secure this choke. Meanwhile, he can pick him off with punches. Oh, he's tucking the arm underneath. I don't think he's got his legs exactly where he needs them to be. Or does he? I think he just got it. He made it work. He made it work. Sylvester Knapp made the submission work in round number three. Take another look at it. My my eyes were locked on his legs, and, and uh, at that time, I, from my angle, I didn't notice that he had put the right arm or the left arm on the other side of the body and was yanking down on that head there. And, the, and regardless, the legs were enough. He had it enough in the position, and there's the tap for the victory. Ritas Kuzmenka is in center ring right now and he will give us the official word in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series 2019 in Riga, Latvia. Live on KOKFIs.cv, MMA Bushido's super fight. And the final round after three minutes, 54 seconds by triangle choke. The winner is Red Corner, Sylvester Kanev, Latvia. A very dominant performance by Sylvester Kanev. He ruled round number two. Round three really got interesting, but that was also the round when Kanev put it away with the triangle choke.
with, with, 